as you violate nature's law, he will be punished automatically. Suppose if you, you are not hungry, you have no appetite, but if you by force, if you eat, then it will increase the disease because you are violated. There is no appetite, it's still your duty. So you must suffer. If you have infected some disease, so you must suffer from that disease. That nature's law is working. Krishna hasn't got to take any direct action. Nature, Maya, is there. As soon as you violate the laws of Krishna, in the place. Automatically. You cannot avoid it. David J. Saguna, Vay, Momo, Maya, Dharatta. Cannot avoid it. Those who are trying to overcome the laws of nature, that is the so called modern scientist. And never. And that is foolishness, that's kind of. They cannot. It is not possible. Uh, just like uh, we are here, we are given this planet to live, and there is this moon planet we can see. And these rascals try to go there. So, so many ways. <laughs> they refuse. No, they cannot. Live there. Wow. It's practical. We see the moon planet is there. We have got machine. We can go, but you cannot go. <laughs> this is not only. This is not This is practically true. But they are so rascal fools, they are going to another planet. <laughs> they do not think with the one planet we have already failed. <laughs> They are called puna puna chad vita charvara, the chewed. They are being baffled every step, and still they are trying to overcome the laws of things. That is their foolish. Not all how. Maya purita jnana. Maya is so strong upon them that their so-called scientific knowledge is useless. In 1958, when I wrote that book, Easy Journey to Other I wrote in that book, those who have read it, that this moon planet excursion is simply childish and waste of time. And actually, it has proved. So I was not a scientist, neither I am a scientist. How did I say? I said, on the strength of the bharsan in the Vedic literature, <coughs> that it is not possible. Uh, we cannot. We are conditioned. We are conditioned to remain in a certain condition, certain atmosphere. We cannot surpass that. Just like we are animals of the land, we cannot go to the water. And the aquatic species, they are animals of the water. They cannot live on the land. <coughs> Why these rascals are trying to overcome the laws of nature? How foolish rascals they are, just imagine. Huh? Any child can understand, but these rascals cannot understand. They are challenging that we are trying to overcome the law. Is it not? Mm. That is their challenge. Therefore they are scales. Naranhava, Maya Bhutagyana. They are attempting in something which they cannot perform. Therefore they are scales. Mura. The better to become more and more Mura, better take to Krishna Congress. Manvana Bhagavad Vakta Vajjaji. 
that will make your life safe. Mm. Why should you imitate these rascals? Hmm? What is your saying? What do you think? You say they are rascals. What do you think? They are all rascals. That's right. <laughs> Anyone protest against this? <laughs> He'll be another rascal. <laughs> Don't try to overcome the laws of nature. That is not possible. <coughs> he has been given this land, this planet, live here. Grow your food, chant Hare Krishna and live peacefully. Why should you go to the one planet? <laughs> But there is process. If you want to go, there is process. Not this that by force I can go there by machine. That is not that is not that is foolish man. Oh. Just like hey, I am Indian, if I want to come to France, I must take visa, I must say uh, passport and so on, so on. By force I want to enter. No. So we have got experience that by force we cannot do anything. We must be competent to uh, go anywhere, provided you qualify yourself. Janti Deva, Bhutta Deva, Pitri, Janti, Pitri, you can go. But not in that way. Because you have got a teeny machine, you can go. That is not It's useless. <coughs> Is not possible. If someone forces his mind, Srila Prabhupada, to think of Krishna... That is foolish. One who is controlled by his mind, that is more foolishness. But if he forces his mind... That, that's all force or not force. One who is controlled by the mind, he is a rascal. Hmm. He is a rascal. Mano rathena satu dhavato bahi. Rāva bhaktasya kuto mahada guna mano rathena sakmano rathena. They are driven by the chariot of mind. Useless. No utility. No benefit. But all these rascal scientists, philosophers, they are going on the chariot of the mind. I think, in my opinion, this is what. Mano rathena. On the mental platform, because they are all bullies. They have no value. <coughs> mental concoct, useless. That means that our attraction for Krishna must be spontaneous? Huh? Our attraction for Krishna is spontaneous. Force? You want yeah, to love somebody, but the love is misplaced, therefore you are baffled. You mm. place it to Krishna in your. Love is there. That is not a new thing. But you are misplacing the love. That information we are given, that don't misplace your love. Place your love to Krishna in the So we can bring the mind under the control of Krishna? Yes. One who is under the control of my, uh, Krishna is no more under control of the mind. Mind is being controlled. So mind cannot dictate. <coughs> Those who are not under control of Krishna, the mind dictates. He is under the control of the mind, her senses. That's all. <coughs> So the uh, point is that be fixed up in Krishna consciousness. Don't disturb yourself by the material environment or enchantment. Be fixed up. Chant Hare Krishna, always fixed up. Uh, your mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. So far, the necessities of life concerned, that will come automatically, will never be in trouble. 
ਵਾਹ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ